Running for me is an incredible part of me maintaining my mental health and my sanity. And running grounds me, it keeps me calm and allows for me to reflect on what's important to me. Growing up, I actually hated running. I really remember having to do the mile in gym class and it was a pain. I hated every second of it and I never considered myself a runner. In fact, I grew up figure skating and doing ballet. Uh, so those were the activities that I enjoyed. I ended up looking towards running when I, I had gained what you could call the freshman 30 after college. It was very outside of my character and my identity to be in that weight. And so I was in my first year of medical school and I said, you know, I really need to make a change. And that's when I started to be more proactive about what I was eating and how I was moving. So I'm one of the co-directors for a sports cardiology center, so I was trained in sports cardiology. Part of my practice is taking care of athletes, whether they be recreational athletes, professional, uh, collegiate. And so I find my role to be as an advocate for them. Oftentimes some people are told they cannot exercise or cannot do their particular sport for one reason or the other. And so I find my role to be one where we can find some middle ground and make sure that they can do what they love safely. So let's see, the last time I saw you, you had run a marathon. Kind of easier runs, easier pace, nothing too, uh, too fast. So when the pandemic started and when we had our initial lockdown here in Cleveland, it all became very real to me. It was a bit scary, I think, as a provider. You know, it's our responsibility to take care of our patients, make sure they are safe. But there's always a part of us that want to make sure that we keep ourselves safe and healthy so that we can be there for our patients. Our gym in the apartment building closed. You know, we didn't have a treadmill at that time. And I'm a morning runner. And so for me, not being able to run in the morning on the tread, um, being too early for me to get outside at 4 or 4.30 in the morning, I was really frustrated with that lack of structure. And so I was fortunate enough to talk to a couple of my colleagues and essentially just ask if I could use one of their treadmills before I would start work in the morning, and that was probably my saving grace. I was able to at least have something I was used to, some semblance of structure, and was able to keep me grounded when everything around me seemed a bit more chaotic. I tend to rip on to the mantra, get comfortable with the uncomfortable. Um, and I just start to say that with, with every step. Running allows for you to confront those walls, those boundaries, and push past them. My favorite run is early in the morning, uh, right when the sun comes up in an area of nature. So one of my favorite places around Cleveland is the Rocky River Metro Park area. I love getting there right when you start to hear the birds chirping, the leaves are rustling, uh, and I get out of my car and it's just this incredible sense of calm. I entered the lottery for Marine Corps Marathon and after a couple of months or so, you find out whether or not you've been accepted. So I was really, really excited and that was pre-pandemic. And then obviously once COVID started, you know, we were all starting to wonder, is racing still going to happen? And so they eventually, you know, let us know that this was no longer going to be a live event, that we had the opportunity to run it virtually. I really wanted to see what it would be like to just run alone. You know, this is going to be a race where no one was there to support me. You know, no one is cheering. It's just me and the road. And so I created my own course around Lake Erie uh, in Edgewater Park, and it was five loops of 5.25 miles. And I remember it was a pretty crisp day. And I just said, you start when you start your watch. And I remember taking a couple extra seconds looking at my Garmin, and I said, just start already. You really have to dig deep to let yourself know that it's your brain telling you to stop. You know, your body can keep going, but you just have to tell your brain you can keep going. So whenever I hit a part in life where I'm feeling frustrated or I'm feeling like I can't push past a barrier, I can tell myself, you did this all on your own. You ran those 26.2 miles on your own. You can do anything. The next accomplishment I want to make is to hit a sub four hour marathon. I feel like I'm kind of knocking on the door, but I would love to be able to be at 359.59. We live in a life that's very stressful. You know, we work really hard. We have a lot of relationships we need to manage, but 
The most important thing is to make sure that you are doing what's right for you and what's best for you. Make yourself a priority, you know, make yourself number one on your to-do list. And when you do that, you can help anyone in any way. And for me, running does that.